Okay, well, there's going to be a whole series of maintenance videos on this walker, and I know some of you guys love the maintenance videos, so um, we're going to start off with this. This is one of my first issues. Okay, the hopper on this thing. Now, I'm getting a lot of blowout from the sides. Now, you'll see when it comes down, it hits, and it's off-centered, and then it goes down in that groove there, okay? The bolt from the lid goes in that groove which I'll show you more in a minute now it's in there it's pushed in as far as it can go and I know at some point this thing must have got tweaked there's a small little gap that runs down this side not too bad but this side if you can see it the gap is bigger and I can push it in but then it comes right back out and I've lifted the door up and I've bent it a little bit to try to get it back and it's just not going back as far as I want it. Now, I see one of the issues is this is the groove I was telling you about. There's a bolt that runs through there, but that's just part of it that holds the door trim together. It's not part of this. This is welded on. So, this flap back here, what I am going to do is, I already took one out. See these little pins right here? With the little cotter pins in it that's all that holds this flap on there's one in that side which goes in there so you can see that which i already took out and i just took the cotter pin out of this side so i'm going to pop that one out and take this off and my plan is i'm going to come in here with a grinder and i'm going to grind that a little bit deeper which will allow that bolt right there on the lid to go in further and now I know it's not going to close my gap up all the way, but it should help it a little bit. So let's do it and see what happens. it out a little bit but not as much as I would like but it turns out I have a bigger problem Let's see if I can get you guys some light here okay now if you see down there and down there look at this I don't know if you can see that moving and look at this side see the crack this one's moving too there's supposed to be tabs that come out here and then the framing for this dump bolts through there both sides both these tabs are broke off and it looks like somebody uh half-assed tried to weld them at one time so um i noticed a little crack in there about a year ago and i spot welded the other side but it turns out the whole thing was cracked or it is just eventually cracked and i never knew which is making this whole back end move which means I got to take this whole box off because if I take this whole box off and then I unbolt those it'll be a heck of a lot easier to clean all that up with a grinder and weld it back together the right way um, and I definitely need to grind that out more and it'll allow that bolt to come in more but I can't get to the bottom side of that with my grinder but once I take this box off I'll be able to so I believe don't quote me <laughs> I believe that in order to take this box off, all I have to do is unplug this plug right here, which goes to the oscillator motor and um, the alarm. To let me know when the hopper's full, there might be another plug under there. They might be two different ones. I'll find that out. No big deal. So now I guess I will be uh, unplugging that and then unbolting it. I think it's, it only is from right here, these two bolts on each side. So. I'm going to get all the stuff out of here and unbolt all that, unplug that plug there and see if I can lift this hopper right off here.
go this side so it trips oh. over stuff. Okay. We're going to Just grab it by the handle and your hand under this tap. See where my hand is? Yeah. Good thing Shorty just got off the bus, huh? Yep. But that's it. So that ended up being all there was to it. There's just that one plug that's in the back. Got to disconnect the shock. And then these, in case you couldn't see when I was taking it apart, that's that bolt that's welded that was through there like that. So it goes in there like that, and the bolt went through there. So I had to take that bolt out, slide these out. But you know what? There were spacers in there little round spacers that went in between this bolt right here oh they're still there <laughs> there they are you better not lose those, those yeah i'm gonna set all these back in here okay now i can get to that but see how that's moving that should not be moving so these tabs that are underneath i have to clean them up Grind them up, which I'll take them off and put them in the vise. And I'll grind them up, clean them up real well, and I'll clean up the other side. And I will weld those back together. But it would be much easier if this wasn't in my way. So it looks like all I have to do is take out those two bolts there and those two bolts there. And this whole back half will come right off then I can clean those up and do it the right way. Now them bolts are out, watch. See that? These tabs should be welded to there, each side. And then the bolt goes through. But one thing we forgot to undo this little guy here. Now this thing very well may snap off, but that's okay because that's a tiny little guy there. Um, it may snap off, but that's okay. We can put a new one in if need be. That's 1160. Yeah, and then the other knife. Here's the other one. So There's just the this one. There's just this one there. With the one that I've been holding. Um, it was sitting on you're here. You're holding this little one. No. Was... No, I think we put it back. Here. Right here. Yeah. That's half inch. inch. This is not a half inch. I know, you, I know it was put back because it was upside down. I wouldn't put my wrenches back that way. Okay. Now, you, which way are you going? Uh, this way. Yep. Watch your hands, because your hands slip. This metal will cut you right open. So this is where we're at turns out these were like chunks of weld on both sides See where somebody like ground into there and wore the frame down I know it looks clean right now, but I had to clean that up. So I had somewhere to lay my bead, but um, That's how thick it should be. That's how thin it is right there through that groove and still thick top and bottom But somebody laid massive chunks of weld in there. I've said it before and I'll say it again People that don't know how to weld shouldn't weld. I'm all for people learning, but good Lord. Look at that is where they wore a groove in that side too. So I cut off the little bit of tabs that were left on both sides and I ground it down to get it smooth and shiny. And what I've decided I'm gonna do is I cut two pieces. Oh, I'm dropping them. 
I cut two pieces of quarter inch thick um, steel angle and I'm just gonna put them on there and I'm going to weld them right there and I'm gonna weld brand new tabs on there and then I'll just set the frame back on here figure out where my hole needs to be I'll drill holes through here and there'll be brand new tabs on there with new holes so that way it'll be done right see how that weld lays in there nice and smooth it's nice and uniformed I mean I could clean it up with a wire brush and but see how it's nice and uniformed and lays in there flat i'm by no means an expert welder there are guys a million times better than me but it's laid down in there down in the groove versus bubbled up on top that weld's not going to break all right my camera's trying to die and i'm trying not to let it but everything bolted right back up as you can see this one here i should have i should have welded on that way a little bit more but i wasn't really sure just kind of went off where it was and have the same gap pretty much this one is almost center of it actually so all i gotta do now it'll still work perfectly fine i'm just gonna drill a hole down through there drill a hole through here run my two bolts in i'll reattach that for the harness and then i can put the hopper back on and it'll be done but now there's no way i mean those welds are solid they're you know that thing those ain't going anywhere so you know Oh, light in your eyes. Long story short, you know, if it was done the right way the first time, I wouldn't be fixing it now. Um, but apparently, you know, I guess those things wear over time and it's no big deal, but fix it, fix it right. Some people are just hacks, I guess. But so if you ever have that problem, my suggestion to you is if yours are broken, I've talked to other people in the past. I think when I noticed a year ago or something, when I saw that one of them was cracked and I just tacked it from the other side to hold it and I forgot all about it but uh i'm glad i end up taking all this apart and seeing how hacked up it really was so now they're not going anywhere um, i'm going to shoot some black paint over it so it don't rust and uh should be good to go for quite a while now those will last a good long time like i said i use quarter inch thick angle iron so i mean it ain't going anywhere it'll last for a good long time but do it do it the right way that's my grinder and wrench man that's my sweeper cleaning up the garage. Both doing a good job. Every good shop's got to have good helpers, right? Anyway, here we go. We will take this light so you can see. There's still a small gap right there, but it's pretty much the same as it was up here. Down here it tightened up, so it actually made a big difference. Over here, that gap is even smaller. I don't know if you can tell. But it's very very tiny gap through there now which you're never going to get them perfect on these things anyway i mean it's almost impossible to but it closed that gap right up so that ended up being a big part of the problem with those underneath there i still got to shoot some paint on them but you can see bolted back together um but that uh that was a big part of the problem with these loose and moving all around it was allowing the door to tweak so it wasn't closing all the way so i did that and when i put it back on um the two bolts in there you have two the two bolts underneath there um let's see if i can show you real quick your two main bolts underneath here okay you have the plate in the back that slides on there's a gap a rail in there and then for this bolt on the plate there's a gap with a rail in there over on that other side i don't know if you can see it there you loosen those up and you can move left or right and you can adjust your hopper and a lot of times that helps control the gap in the door as well in my case it wasn't working i had already tried that but uh so my issue was i had to fix these down here so once i got those fixed down there and then i got the hopper back on i was able to adjust these sliding them back and forth both sides to adjust it and now the door is almost completely closed, just as it should be. So everything's back together and that's one project done.